Folge ich habe nicht so zu tun. <lacht> As you guys can tell, I am in Kyoto for the night and we're gonna do some exploring today. We're gonna do some shopping and I'm here to talk about a really cool promotion that I'm doing with an eyeglass company. These are really good souvenirs if you're coming to Japan. Today's video is sponsored by Jeans, which is a really popular and trendy Japanese eyewear company. But right now we're just kind of walking around and exploring and we're gonna go check my bag and go see what we're going to get up to. One of those including a samurai and ninja experience. Let's go. There's a lot of really cool shopping in this arcade. There's so many like little temples and shrines too. Such a cute little fabric store. So if there's any knitters or sewers, these would make for some really great souvenirs. Oh, I love those ones. That's really nice. One of my favorite places. So if you're in Nishiki Market, this is a really cool shrine. Um, and it's just like tucked away in the street, which I just think is really cool and unique about being in Japan. You've got the arcade to either side of you where you can do lots of shopping, but then you can pop in this really beautiful shrine. Oh, how beautiful. The ume blossoms are blooming. I love coming to temples and shrines like this, especially when they're tucked away in little arcades. It's a really unique experience and gives you a little peace and quiet away from the hustle and bustle of everything. So don't be afraid or shy to come into places like this. Everybody is welcome, regardless of your religion and beliefs. Please come and enjoy. There's such great shopping over here in the Shiki Market. <laughs> they are fake. Okay. The ones on the inside, okay. <laughs> this food was so perfect. We were kind of arguing whether or not we thought it was real or not, but he did indeed say the ones out front were fake, which makes sense because if people are like breathing and really close by, like I wouldn't want that either, but love Nishiki Market. It's so lively, there's lots of food here. So before or after going to the Samurai Museum, you guys should come. Check it out, get something to eat and some drinks. So the famous kai of Nishiki. It is like a baby octopus stuffed with a quail egg. It's actually pretty good. The octopus is like soy sauce flavored. So if you come by, this is like the famous delicacy of the area. I'm gonna do the small one. This one? <laughs> the smallest one. <laughs> oh. I have had this once before. Mm. It's cold, so if you don't like cold, I wouldn't try it, but would you try? I'm okay. <laughs> this is a no. I'm trying to figure out how they get the egg inside. Right here at one of the ends of Nishiki Market. So there's a Wendy's over on this side, and then the ABC Shoe Mart is over here. And then this is how you're going to get into the Kyoto Samurai and Ninja Museum. It's on the second floor. It was kind of hidden, so I thought that it'd be really helpful to show you guys where it is. We're doing the basic ticket, so we are going to do the guided tour in the museum, throwing the ninja stars, and then we're going to try on the samurai costumes. The tour just finished inside the Samurai Ninja Museum, but you can't take any videos while the tour is going on. Um, but it was really great. Yuma was our tour guide, and she did an incredible job presenting the history of the samurai 
Um, so if you guys get a chance to come do it, you should. So you can take um, videos and pictures after the tour. So that's what we're doing right now, just reading all the labels. And then we're gonna get into the interactive activity side of the museum. One of the cool things we learned about is that women and children were also samurai. So that was why their helmets looked like this so that you couldn't distinguish between age or gender on the battlefield. Um, so we're going to the fourth floor where they have the interactive part of the museum. So there's like ninja throwing and you can do um, archery and things like that. So we're gonna go try out a few of the activities. We took the stairs, but there's also um, an elevator. So if you need elevator, wheelchair, accessible way to get in, you can use that. I like the ninja up there. Little guy's hiding. <laughs> in the face by one just about a month ago, and it went through my lip and into my gums, you guys. Oh. So if this hit be as so bad. Control, one, two, three, go! Yeah. <laughs> you hit my target. You see that? You see that? That was mine. Two, three, go! <laughs> I fail as Japanese. <laughs> I'm more Japanese than <laughs> you. It's hard. <laughs> they just like like floated over here. <laughs> She's gonna come count our points now and like embarrass right. everybody. Get off. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. Maybe it's our board. Five. It's our board. That sucks. <laughs> it's none of us. Oh. <laughs> Now we're going to the Samurai dress up experience. So we just scanned the QR code so that we could get there because it's in just a different building. But I am so excited to dress like a Samurai. The outfits look awesome. <laughs> the Ninja Stars, I assumed that they were used as a weapon to actually harm and like kill people. But she said, no, they're actually for distraction. So you would like throw your star, and, like run the other direction or things like that. And I was like, that is so smart. So, Super family friendly environment. Like if you have little kids and stuff, you should go. There was like an eight year old boy in there who was so clever and so smart and knew so, like he was geeking out over the samurai stuff. So anyway, we're gonna go try some stuff on and see what other interactive activities you can get with your ticket to the museum. <laughs> we're not gonna be allowed to go anywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna go for a red armor today. They're really lightweight, which I'm actually pretty gr grateful for. I thought they were gonna be heavy. <laughs> I don't know why. They have like tiny ones for little kids. This is so cute. It's even like an even smaller one. Step two, we need a sash. And then we're gonna pick a helmet and then a sword. <laughs> this is actually what I need at home with my two-year-old toddler. I need like my body armor like this. I don't know if you can hear this, but... And then the last thing that we need is our sword. Is that right? <laughs> Commoners, let's go. <laughs> Armor is from the Edo period, and my katana is from Kyoto, and my helmet is from Aizu. Ready for battle. I can't take this ser myself seriously right now. That's gonna summarize the samurai and ninja experience here in Kyoto at the museum. If you want to do the ninja experience, you can add that on for a different tour. Um, but now we're going to go get my eyes checked. Oddly enough, it's like a four minute walk from here. I'm going to take out, take off this huge heavy helmet and we'll get going. This was really fun. So you guys should definitely do it if you're in the Nishiki market area. Let's go. We've made it to Jeans here in Kyoto. Jeans is a really famous eyeglass and eyewear store. They have the top sales in all of Japan and they actually have four locations in the United States, which I had no idea about. I'm gonna take you guys inside and show you just how easy it is to get an eye exam and pick up some glasses that you might think is a fun souvenir. They're also running a promotion right now where when you buy glasses, you're going to get a coupon to use it at restaurants and different shopping. So let's go inside and 
hopefully not get too embarrassed. Go ahead and check in. Estimated call time is 4.02. Smells like a spa in here. It smells so good. Honestly, the nicest, hippest, most modern eyeglass store I've ever walked into. It's chic. Hi. It's my hi. <laughs> Tamari son is going to be getting yes. me my eye exam. <laughs> Wave helmet jeans and tell how much gold he can. See inside with the camera? It's in Japanese. But we're gonna see if they'll change it to English oh, yeah. for us. To. 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 I didn't know I was taking a Japanese lesson today. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm reading things far away, I notice I'm like Squinty, yeah. always on my computer yes. and always on my phone yes. with things really close, mm. um, working for hours on yeah. end, so something maybe to protect protect my eyes. Ah, yes. But mostly reading like this far. It's, it's very blurry. A little blurry. Yes, yeah. uh, in the video edit. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. So I'll be like really close. Yes, yes, I don't yes. I don't mean to be, but mm. I just I'm working so close oh, yeah. to my computer. Okay, this is translation. Okay. And uh, maybe uh, your eyes in this one. A little astigmatism. Yes. Okay. I don't really know what astigmatism is, so I'm gonna Google it when I get home. He just switched it from Japanese to English, so if you don't speak Japanese, um, you're gonna be able to take this eye exam just fine. <laughs> A little video game. How about this? How about? Whoa. How about this? There's one that's broken? If you cannot see it, please broken? press the square button. Thank you for your time. That was so humbling. I've been waiting to put these bad boys on. You're gonna kick me out of here. <laughs> I mean this little English form so you can read this if... You need to. Mm. Go ahead. That way? Mm. Uh, Is it that way or that way? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Mm. 1.2 for sure. Okay. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, oh. that's actually pretty yes, cool. Yes, yes. Yeah, and, uh, and totally clear. 1.2 is not bad. I honestly don't even know what that language means, yeah. <laughs> but I have like some asti astigmatism. When I'm trying to read things, they're trying really hard to focus mm -hmm. on stuff, so it causes things to be blurry or my eyes to be tired. Mm -hmm. So like further distance mm -hmm. things are just blurrier than they need to be. I can do the lens that has a thickness of 1.6. It's like the lightest, the best one that they can do. And that I can pay and pick up my lenses today because they have it all in store in like 30 minutes. Standard lenses include a spheric design with low distortion, a UV coating that blocks 99% of UV light, water repellent coating for easy cleaning, anti-reflective, anti I can't read, anti-reflective coating that reduces surface reflection so all of these are actually included in the price that we're going to see listed on the frames. So there's no extra charge regardless of your prescription. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And or for astigmatism strength. Yes. That's, that's me. This is so great. You have this whole book in English for foreigners to come and mm -hmm. be able to understand like what they're spending their money on. Once you get your measurements, you can pick out glasses frames that are as inexpensive as 6,600 yen. This is going to include your measurements in the price. You can also find different frames that are 13,900 yen and this also includes the price of your lenses with your measurements that they give you here in the store. These are a titanium lens. These are the Jeans Protect glasses. They were initially made for pollen. So you can see there's like a little clear barrier over here. Jeans Screen. So these are your blue light glasses glasses, the 25%, 40%, and then um, these are also 40%, but they don't have a nose pad. You don't need a prescription to get any of the blue light glasses, and they typically have them in stock, but I love that they have the blue light glasses for kids, and they're 3,300 yen just for the blue light, which is like 20 bucks right now. These are their colored lenses, and you can get your prescription in any of these. Cheek color lenses, and they just told me it's so that it adds like a little natural blush to your face. I don't know if you guys can really tell or not, but it's going from clear to like a little blush pink 
clear to a little peach color, and then this is probably the most subtle one. It's really hard to pick up on camera, but I've got to try them on. This is so Japanese to have like a little kawaii, cute pink glasses that just have like a little bit of blush at the bottom. So you don't have to do these frames, you can do a different frame, but it's just like the concept of the lens is just so cute. Oh my gosh, 16%. Between 70 and 80% is a really good range. Like having a second opinion, shopping with you, huh? <laughs> I knew those wouldn't be good, they're too round. No, yeah. no. And they keep putting me in the round ones and I just feel like a like hippie in the... Stop! Oh, sunny too. These ones are called the airframe, which I was actually really excited about because I have a toddler, so... Yeah, they're just like super bendy. Oh, can you bend them in the middle too? Oh. <laughs> I'm to get two frame. These ones, because they're really lightweight, and he was telling me I mostly am going to be using these at my computer for a long period of time because they're not heavy at all. They don't feel like anything. But then I'm gonna keep these ones as my fun pair, and I'm gonna keep them in my purse and in my car as like my statement glasses. Let me know what you guys think. I'm a little self-conscious about the red, but we're gonna give it a shot. Now we're gonna go take these to the counter and um, have them put my measurements inside. And total price, this price, and the tax rate 10% off, and this price. Put the two pairs of glasses and my measurements inside. That's awesome. After you pay and you get your receipt, it actually has a return time on it, so you know exactly when you can come back and pick up your glasses. Um, but with that, especially if you're here on a tourist visa, they'll give you this. This is part of their night voucher that they're running at this store. It's actually a glasses lens cleaner. Let me show you guys, it's super cute. It's the map of Kyoto but on the back of it, it has the little promotional voucher. And this actually is your physical coupon that you take to the store. And you just use your phone to use the QR code and scan here, and it pulls up the list of restaurants and cafes in the area that you can use your coupon at. So while we're waiting for my glasses to finish, we're gonna go grab a quick snack to burn some time, and then we'll come back to pick them up. So we're going to this craft dining up it burger place, and I thought the name sounded really familiar. And then I realized I came here with my husband and baby and our friends. So that's actually really fun because the burgers are really good. The french fries here are really good. So I'm going to get <laughs> sherbet sour, which is a Japanese spirit with soda and like this sherbet on top. Because my burger is going to come with a free drink because of the voucher. But they have a really good drink menu. <laughs> I switched it to the Satochi Lemon Sherbet Sour. Mm. Oh, that's really refreshing. Wow. Oh, okay, you guys must have done this before. <laughs> oh, like a fancy one? Chicken, the fried chicken one. That looks so good. Wow. I am one happy American. The thin french fries. <laughs> we showed them our little coupon when we sat down so I was able to get my free drink with the purchase of my burger and so they already took care of it off of the bill um, but it's actually been a lot longer than 30 minutes so we are going to walk back to the jeans location to pick up my glasses I'm really excited because I'm gonna wear them and you're gonna be sick of seeing me in them. We're back. I'm ready to see if I can see. Teating the frame so she can like <laughs> literally fit them to my head. Is that normal? I don't know if this is normal. Japanese? <laughs> it's so Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gave me these, which are the exact packages that my lenses came in, and we were just kind of giggling because that's like so Japanese to do to like, like proof of 
your new lenses that you can keep. I think that's all. I don't mean to laugh. It's just so cute. These are my final glasses. It's gonna take a lot for me to get used to them. I don't have to wear them all the time, but I can't even stop looking at myself in uh, my little side camera. But I do love them. I think they're really cute and fun. Hop into the jeans store in Kyoto. You can get your eyes examined, get your measurements done, pick out some frames, and be in and out pretty quickly. And then on top of that, you're going to get a coupon to go get something to eat or drink in the area. So I think it's a win-win all around for everybody. So I have some exploring to do, so I'll see you in the next spot. He actually came and said bye to me when I was checking out. <laughs> I was like, thank you. He was like, bye. <laughs> it was really nice. Great experience. 10 out of 10. I'm checked into my hotel, which is literally right next to the glasses store. I did not even do that on purpose. So I'm going to show you guys a decent size and comfortable. I also wanted to tell you that I was told to wear these glasses for the next week as often as I could remember to so that my eyes could adjust. So you will be seeing me in them. When you walk in, you can see that I'm already unpacking. And it opens up to, honestly, such a big space. I am not mad at it at all. The bed looks like a really good size. I haven't sat in it or anything like that, but it'll absolutely do. We've got a television. I guess I'm at the Hotel Gracery Kyoto Sanjo, in case anybody's wondering. That's what it says on the TV. This water, both of these come with my room. We've got a nice little sink, sink a diddle do. There I am, back over here by the front. I think this is the toilet. It's a fancy toilet too. We get all the fancy buttons, so that's wonderful. And then in here we've got the shower. I cannot wait to take a shower. I literally smell like a burger right now. I got this burger grease on my jeans, which I'm not excited about because I literally smell like a hamburger. <laughs> it's in my hair, it's on my clothes. Like I just smell like a freaking burger. I will say one of the things I do love about Japanese hotels is you can always guarantee there's one of these sprays in your room. You'll always find it by the hangers. It's a clothing spray, um, like a scent equalizer i don't know what it's called somebody help me please in the comments but you basically can spray your clothes so if you're at the bar or a restaurant or you smell like cigarettes or something like that you can spray your clothes and it helps get the smell out when i stepped outside i realized i kind of just wanted to walk around for like 20 minutes or so just to walk around a bit so I'm gonna take you guys with me. So these covered shopping areas are really popular in Japan, which I love because of the best places to go when it's raining outside or just gross, but you still wanna feel like you're outside. And they're called arcades. There's a Japanese word for it that's a lot longer, but if you say arcade, people know what you're talking about. It's just like roads without cars, shopping center. And you can go restaurants, ramen, bars, shopping, sweets, all of the things. I've made it into a vintage store, but when you guys come into these, make sure you're really looking at the prices and the tags in them because they're not always true vintage items. Sometimes they're mass produced with a different tag on it. So yes, even in Japan, Double check the stores that you're going into because it's a cute store but some of it, the prices are a little confusing. get a coffee for tomorrow morning. I've always wanted to try one of these. It's a gentle steaming eye mask. This one's lavender. This one is yuzu. And this one is nothing. I'm gonna do, yeah, let's do the lavender. I 
forget. <laughs>